This is Jeremiah 24 Reacts. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate the likes, the sharing, and the commenting down below in the comment. Thank you so much for everybody that's showing love and support on the channel. It's highly appreciated over on this side. And hey, keep it coming for real. Thank you so much for the love. Let's keep it going. Today we're back today with intro. Let me be the one. Now we're continuing the R&B 90s hits playlist, making sure I'm going through tracks that I've never heard of before. Because there's always classic records out there that I never even listened to, so why not react to them during this time? So why not? Uh, I did my research a little bit on intro. They're an R&B group. R&B group. There's, I believe, three members in the group. They were formed in New York City, in Brooklyn, New York City, right? And uh, and they were formed in the 1990. And this track was made off their album from 1993, and it was a single. I'm pretty sure it debated number. 23 on the R&B charts so looks like this was a uh, obviously a hit uh, obviously but uh can't wait to get into the track and let's see what they are talking about let's get into it y'all come on okay never heard that before hold on Okay, who's singing? Oh, this is my vibe already. Chorus is going hard already. I like the verses already. Oh, let me pause it right there. Quick second. I, sonically speaking, I really like the track. It's giving me R&B esque. Obviously, it sounds like the '90s already. I like the singing. Man, the intro track too, uh, someone was hitting the high notes, the falsetto, I'm pretty sure that's called. Uh, they're going in already, and this track is, it, it sounds good already. It's my type of vibe. This is the type of track that I, these are the type of tracks I'll be listening to, the R&B tracks, man. This is this is already a good track, sonically speaking, already. It sounds good already. Like, I like the little production in the background. I don't know what it, what it is in the background, but them sounds are pretty nice. Let's keep it going. Hey. Like the background singing too. Okay, the group is doing this thing. The background singing, the main singing, okay. Yeah. Hey. It was catchy already. Of course. Never heard of this group before. Wow.
Hey. So come on, baby. Woo. Okay, man. intro let me be the one yo the brothers can sing i like the background vocals and i like the lead singer as well i like it when the the lead singer is singing but also in the background you hear the singers in the background hitting them high notes and you're like damn these brothers could sing where i like this track was a banger so this sonically speaking this track sounds so good incredible track right here i like the singing and everything all the aspects of this track already uh, let's tackle some of the lyrics. Obviously, the intro says, let me be running to you, your heart. Want you to come running. A chorus, let me be, let me be, let me be the one. The one you come running to, running to whenever you need it, whenever you need it. Let me be, let me be, let me be the one. The one you come running to whenever you need it. Uh, that chorus will go hard already. Very catchy, very catchy chorus. Verse number one, lady love, come on, listen to me. I know you want you want to turn away, but all that we've been through, I'll never give up loving you. So won't you give me one more chance to one more chance for romance and I'll show you. Basically, uh it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, he's just trying to get back with his chick. Obviously, it looks like she's already done, but he's still trying to romance the chick still. Telling her, telling her that it's not over yet. Let's let's keep it going. Let's keep it running. Let's run it back. Hook more love than you've ever known. Straighten it out and make love the way it should be. One thing we we're, we're sure of: the love we have all grow. The love we have will grow. And it and at first you don't succeed. You've got to love again. Just let me be. Basically, it's just breaking down. Yeah, let's just do it again. Let's run it back. Obviously, the first time is probably, it's not gonna, it's gonna be a fail, but let's run it back. It, it could, it could be successful when we run it back. He's trying to, he, he's spitting game, he's romancing the chick. And verse two, baby love, if you sacrifice one minute to hear what I have to say, still want to hurt me, then walk away. I'll be there, I'll be here ever, I'll be here ever in love with you, my dear, and the love I have for you won't disappear, let me show you. So, okay, so he's basically telling her that if you are trying to hurt me, you could go for now, but I'm gonna still be waiting for you no matter what. And the love won't ever go away. I'm, I'll, I'll be here waiting for you. Okay, okay, okay. It's one of them tracks. I want my chick back type type of track. This is, a good, this is a good track right here. Verse three, baby, all I wanna do is love you. Love has made a change in me, in me. Baby, all I want to do is love you. Love has made a change. Ah, man. That verse three right there. Pretty good, pretty good. It's very self-explanatory, basically. They want their chick, their chicks back, man. Obviously, something must have happened during the relationship, a little rough patch, as always. But they want to run it back. They don't think it's it's completely over. Maybe the chick thinks thinks it's, it's most likely over, but they don't feel that way. They feel that they, they could still run it back and it could be even better than before. So they said, Let Me Be The One is a single from the nineteen from their 1993 debate album intro. The song peaked at number 23 on the U.S. Hot R&B slash R&B, R&B slash hip hop songs chart. Wow. Pretty, pretty dope. Pretty dope. Uh, you could tell uh, why this track is a hit. Uh, the, the background vocals, the lead singer, they were doing their thing. They were hitting those notes. This, this, like I said again, sounds like a relatable track. It's gonna catch its ears. A lot of people are gonna gravitate towards tracks like this that they can relate to, and it's it's gonna be there. Uh, and people are gonna be keep on listening to them, and obviously that's why it most likely just went to number twenty three on the on the R and B uh, charts back in nineteen ninety three because a lot of people can relate to it. But let's run it back and let's listen to it again to catch your vibe to see something that I did not catch before. But let's listen to it again. That was a good track for real. Shout out to the brothers in this group. This is a good track right here for real. My type of vibe. If I was more than if I was 
in this time in 1993, I would have been bopping to this too. You guys got. Ooh. Right there, right there, right there. You hear that? That brother right there, I don't know who it was, but they hit the high note. Ooh. He was going crazy over did that one. That high note. I won't be the one. Hold up. Hey. What you got? Hey. It's already catching to you. <laughs> I'm singing it so much. This track is catchy.
All right, so that was intro, Let Me Be The One. So it's gonna loop around like it like usually does. But let's talk about the track for, for a sec. Sonically speaking, this track is so catchy as well right off the bat. Uh, I was I was singing it in the in the first and the beginning part, and then afterwards too, you could hear me hitting them the vocals and just, just uh, singing along as well because this track is very catchy as well. But obviously, like I said, so I'm just speaking. This track sounds really good. I like the background vocals with it. The main singer doing his thing. The relatability with the lyrics, and I bet that's why this track made it to number 23 in 1993. And it was a hit because the, 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 relatability, the relatability aspect in, within this track. So, uh, this track is a really good track. And uh, shout out to uh, Intro. This is a good track. I'm going to make sure that I leave the original track in the description down below and in the comments so you guys can check this track out for yourselves. Show some love and support to Intro. They put that hard work in this track even though this was years ago, a long time ago. Still go check it out for yourself and check out and see what you think and come back and say what you think about the track in the comments down below. But check them out and support the, the groups and the artists that put the work in the studios. But that was it. Make sure you guys, make sure you, ladies and gentlemen, do like, share, subscribe, comment down below what song specifically you guys want me to react to next. And hit the bell notification so when my video gets sent out, you'll be the first one to be notified. I'm going to see you when we see you.